So the number one problem that my clients have is that they are confused about where their time goes. And I wanted to chat with you about whether you're confused about where your time goes. Um, confusion is a big reason that we stay stuck. We're confused about maybe the next steps to take or we're confused about um, you know, where we want our energy to go or why we have no energy. Maybe I need to turn these off. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to figure this out as, as I go along. Is that better? I can't tell. Um, and the number one place that we spend our time, that my clients spend their time, is in uh, other people's bullshit, basically. Other people's business, if you'd like to be more PG about the whole thing. Um, when we are confused about where our time is going and we analyze it, what you'll find mostly is that your time is being taken up by other people's nonsense, something that's important to them, something that they need, but it's not necessarily important to you. And we as human beings kind of like to indulge in confusion about where our time goes because it just is a little bit easier. Like you might have gotten asked like, where do you want to go to dinner tonight? It's Friday night. Where do you want to go to dinner? And you're like, oh, I don't know. You choose because we're tired. We're tired of making decisions. We're in decision fatigue. And so we really want somebody else to make the decisions for us. We like to say we don't know, but really we just don't want to think about it. Confusion is a place that steals our time. And the number one place that I find my client's time goes is other people's nonsense. So if you are somebody who's always picking up the slack for your partner, your husband, your wife, your children, your coworker, your employees, your sister, you know, whoever it is, if you're constantly picking up the slack, that steals your time. And we're confused about what that really means. Confusion is what I've been talking about all week. I've been talking about it on my podcast. I've been talking about it on social media and in my blog. But I really want you to ask yourself, where do you indulge in confusion about where your time goes? Let's examine this one place of your time going to other people's bullshit. If you constantly are swooping in to save somebody else, you are probably getting to the end of the week, not getting through your list, feeling exhausted, de-energized, right? But you might tell yourself, oh, this person needs me. They need me to swoop in. They need me to show up. They need me to take care of it. It could look like anything from a kid who forgot his lunch on the counter to, um, you know, your, your kid's sister who needs a ride again because something fell through for her. When you keep swooping in to save somebody else, you are keeping them from showing their strength. You're keeping them from having to adult. You're keeping them from having to figure shit out. You are telling yourself that you're saving them and that they need you, but really, what are you doing for yourself and what are you doing for them? That's the confusing point. Confusion is a place that sucks up our time and energy. And I'm going to ask you to think about where you do this yourself. And it's hard to admit. I will tell you, this is not easy to admit. I've done this myself before where I knew that I was swooping in to save different people. I mean, at different times in my life, I've just like, you're probably just like me. You're probably like a saver, a fixer. You love to be the hero. You love to swoop in and figure it all out for somebody, but it can really drain your time and energy when you do that. So start to look this weekend where you might in a very small way say, I'm not available to do that. I'm unable to help. You don't have to apologize. That's the number one thing I really love to convey to my clients. Like you don't have to apologize for not being able to swoop in and save somebody else. They're going to figure something else out. I know that you like to tell yourself that it has to be you. It's maybe always been you, but it does not have to always be you next. It can be them figuring it out for themselves or them asking somebody else. I promise you, somebody who has gotten used to you saying yes is not going to like that you suddenly are not available, but it will give you so much more time and energy back in your life to take care of the things that you need. 
please believe me that I know this isn't easy. I, I am validating that it's not easy. And if your brain right now is going, no, 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 she doesn't understand. She doesn't know. I want you to know that I do know because all of my clients tell me the same thing. And I have figured this out myself. I struggled with this too for years. And I would always say, no, 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 it has to be like this. No, 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 I can't not do this. I know that you're telling yourself this is too hard. Um, but it's Friday afternoon right now and you're about to go into the weekend and you deserve some time for you to get what you need. And it might be 20 minutes in a bath. It might be like going for a walk or going for a run or going to yoga. It might be sitting down and doing some writing or decluttering that you've wanted to do for weeks or years now. What can you do to get something back for yourself? And it probably means you need to get out of confusion and get really clear about where your time goes. And if your time is going to taking care of everybody else and never taking care of yourself, I promise you, you're never going to reach that goal. My whole job is about helping people reach their goals. So how can you take one baby step this weekend toward a goal. It might be just saying it out loud. It might be saying, you know what, I am going to uh, schedule X, Y, and Z. It might be saying it to yourself. It might be actually scheduling the thing on your calendar. It might be actually opening up the closet and decluttering the closet. Whatever the action is you need to take, please make time for that. Constantly swooping in and taking up care of other people's bullshit does not make your life better. It makes you depleted. You can't keep giving to other people. You can't keep serving from an empty cup. So that said, if you're looking for more time back in your day, join my free Time Masters group. We're all about decluttering this month. We're focusing on decluttering. And if you like this message and you want to be reminded of the fact that you matter and the fact that your time is valuable, like this, like my page, follow me. Um, and leave a comment. What is one thing you can do for yourself this weekend that will fill you up? I know that giving to other people fills you up, but eventually if you don't give to yourself also, you will be depleted. And if you're there, it's time. I'm Jen Liddy. I'm an accountability and productivity coach, and I would love to learn more about what you need. So drop a comment about where you are going to take time for your stuff this weekend so that you can give to others better. Thank you for, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.